You've been a leading voice in the debate over whether Gleason 6 should still be called cancer. Why do you believe that relabeling could benefit patients and what would that change mean in, in practice? Yeah, for better or worse, I could talk for a half hour on it, but I will keep it as brief as I possibly can. So we struggle with prostate cancer screening, diagnosis and treatment, trying to save all the lives we can while minimizing the amount of unnecessary harm through unnecessary diagnosis, unnecessary treatment, and unnecessary side effects. And on a very simplistic level, grade group one or Gleason 6 prostate cancer is literally not capable of causing symptoms spreading to other parts of the body or killing men. And by a dictionary layperson's definition of cancer versus benign, it meets all the criteria of benign. And in prostate cancer, as well as many other cancers in the body, things that were once called cancer kind of lost the label once newer information came out. And so I and many others are making the argument that public health would be improved for individuals, let alone on a population level, if we had some other term for grade group one prostate cancer, because there are still a wildly high number of men throughout the world that are treated for something that they don't necessarily benefit from.